Vite is amazing. It allows you to build without needing to be a build tools engineer. TypeScript, CSS modules, framework builds, they all work with no config or just a small amount. Vite focuses you on what matters, building the website. My name is David East and I work on Firebase and I'm also the self-proclaimed number one Veet superfan. Veet reminds me a lot of what I like about Firebase. With Firebase, you create a project, and then you can create databases, storage buckets, serverless functions, and set up authentication all in a few clicks. From day one, our goal has been to simplify backend development so you can focus on your site. And that fits perfectly with Veet. Okay, so I promised the most amazing five minute V plus Firebase tutorial, and you know what? I have less than four minutes to deliver, but that's okay, because it only takes a couple of minutes to show you the basics of building on Firebase. In the Firebase world, development starts with our CLI. After installing via NPM, I'm gonna unlock an experimental feature. I like to call it Veep mode. From here, you can run our init command for a specific service like hosting. And just in time for vconf, the CLI will prompt you to pick from a list of frameworks and tools. Let's get it up and running with Firebase. To access data from your Firebase backend, download the JavaScript library from npm. To set up this library, you have to import an initialize app function. And usually, you have to give it this whole configuration object, but new feature alert. Say hello to auto init. This injects the configuration object behind the scenes, and all you have to do is call initialize app and move on with your life. Firebase is cloud-based, but your Firebase development doesn't have to be. I'm gonna spin up the Firebase emulator suite to run Firebase services locally and with a UI tailored for development tasks. The CLI boots up the emulators and detects that we're running Vite, so it spins up the dev server. Now, let's detect the login state. The onAuth state change function takes a callback that fires in real time when a user either logs in or out. Right now, the result is null because there's no user. Let's change that. Firebase authentication has so many providers to pick from. My favorite is anonymous authentication. The sign-in function triggers the listener, and this is a core concept in Firebase. We usually don't await the result of an async operation. We use a listener to keep data flowing in real time. Now this user gives us this UID property, and it's essential because we use this to save and secure data in a database like Firestore. Firestore is a NoSQL database that follows a structure of collection, document, collection, document and you can utilize this hierarchy to create data structures that are read by a key. To write data, you create a reference to a path and use an updating function. And now for the fun part. The onSnapshot function takes in a callback that is triggered any time an update occurs. And inside, you can assign the result of the snapshot data to some UI, and now it's in sync. And just like that, we have a real-time functioning chat app. Now I want to deploy this, but you know what? There's one more thing to address. You secure Firestore using our own custom language that's designed to match documents at their path, like a router, and specify an expression that determines whether the read or write is allowed. This rule allows anyone to read messages, but writes can only be done by the user who owns the data. All right, this is secure. Let's ship this. New feature alert. Typing Firebase deploy detects Vite, runs the build, and ships it to Firebase hosting. Plus, you get this cool web.app subdomain. Here's the site, served blazing fast, backed by a CDN. Okay, so I have like 15 seconds left, so I hope you saw that Veet plus Firebase is amazing, and a big, big thank you to VeetConf, because you know what? This has been my dream.